Move my head around. Hello. Good evening. Hello, oh. everybody. Are you guys awake? Hope everybody's up. It's nine <laughs> o'clock Central Time. Yeah. And so. we have been sweating and working. We have been. So we got. Well, there's hey, Tracy. Tracy Low Griffin. How are you? Wow, look hey, at friends. all those. Hey, friends. Wow, lots Thank of you. thumbs up and hearts. Thanks so much. Yeah. How is everybody? We're hoping you guys are having a good night. Hi, Janice. Janice and Brenda and another Janice. Joyce. Hi, Joyce and Kathy. Hey, Lee. I hope I'm saying that right. Lee or Lay Smith. Yeah. Linda Harrington, Karen. Karen Sneed Steed. That's wow. crazy. That's fun. <laughs> That's super fun. Hi, Melody and Cindy. Hey, Faith. Glad that you guys are here. Yes, it's good to have you. Yep. You guys are so sweet. It's pretty late here, and we are, we just got really involved in cleaning. Cleaning. Taking care of things, getting it ready for tomorrow. Yep. So. so all right. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Linda. Hey, Deborah and Alice. All right. So today I spent a big part of the day just packing up everything. And I met Jeremy down here this morning and we went over all of the trim things for the doors. And I introduced you guys to him earlier. Did you see that video? I did. It was nice. Yeah. So Jeremy's awesome. And I hope you guys will go to his Facebook page because... He, the work that he does is so cool and it will give you lots of ideas. It's like going on a Pinterest board. It's, mm. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Everything that he does. Extremely creative. Yeah. So he does trim work, you know, around doors and baseboards, but he does a whole lot of other stuff. So if you go to that video that I posted, you can just click on his um, name. It'll be highlighted in there and it'll take you right to his page. <clears throat> so y'all go follow him because he is amazing just awesome so i met him and we went over all the door things and so we're just going to take you guys through he was saying today that these doors because it's an old house it's really tricky to put in the doors because walls aren't straight and he had to like finagle some things so he was hoping he could get like the baseboards in but he couldn't because he had to get all the doors straight and he worked by himself today. Yeah. What an what a amazing thing. He has a, a worker or two, and he had to end up coming here by himself. What a stud. Yeah. So, you know, just managing these doors. So we're going to turn the camera around and kind of walk you guys through. What I'll do is I'll hold the camera, oh. and we're going to have Miss Annie talk really loud so everybody can hear. Okay. There she is. All right. Hey, everybody. So... <laughs> Jeremy put in, I think it's um, five or six doors, and so he took out um, he took out old trim and then he put in new trim. Which this is just the barn, you know, the farmhouse trim. So um, this is the door that goes into the laundry room, and he had to kind of build some things out here, and this is the door. Oh, isn't that a beautiful door? I love these doors. Miss yes, Annie did such doors. a wonderful job picking those out. I think they're gorgeous. I love them, and they'll have black handles. And um, anyway, I'm super excited about them. And Jeremy also, we have some kind of trim stuff here with little boxes. You can kind of see that. And um, I was worried about pulling them off. I was worried about pulling them off because I was worried that it was going to pull the drywall off and we just have a lot going on. So Jeremy was like, it'll be fine. So we pulled it off and this will get fixed. But anyway, so I was happy that he did that. All right. I'm going to try to talk loud so you guys can hear me. So, oh, so this. Yeah. The casing to the kitchen. Now, some of you have been very, very kind and ask how I'm feeling. I am, I'm wonderful. I'm feeling great. Just was a little tired and dizzy last night after a full day. Today, I'm great. Yeah, doing good. So did you guys see the sweet video where Mama Sue and Melissa and Mimi and her daughter 
Brothers wrote on the, the scriptures on the inside of the casings. So sweet when they came to visit. So this is that casing. And Jeremy built this out. I think it looks better on this side, maybe. Let's turn around and, the and lights, look. The lighting looks kind of funny in here because it's all taped up with the blue paint tape. So they can actually do some uh, painting <laughs> and not ruin the light. So, but that's the casing on this side. Mm -hmm. Really does look good. Yeah, we love it. And it will be, um, they'll fill in all the holes and then paint this. They being the painters? Yep. Okay. All right. So come over here. Um, the bathroom is coming along. Y'all come in here. I'm so excited about the bathroom. Um, so the tile started going up. Look at that subway tile. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? But it, it will have a white line in here. That dark that you see is just the concrete, but this will be more of a light in between. I like it this color though too. Do you guys like it this way? Have you seen it this way where it's kind of dark? So anyway, they just started this this afternoon, but we're gonna have this niche here. And anyway, I love it. We're gonna have to do a little bit of something with drywall, but. yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Well, there's Stephanie Kirkland Bates. How you doing, Stephanie? Stephanie. That's Miss Annie's cousin. Cousin. Sorry, Stephanie. Yep. All right. So keep on coming through here. And so here's the door that's on here. And I think what I love so much is if you guys watch that video, um, Jeremy talked about just how important it was to get the doors straight and to make sure that they're all flush, obviously. And he likes to add, so the doors come with like a smaller screw. And so he'll put in like a three inch screw up, up screws up here to make it so it just- It anchors it. It anchors it and it keeps it. So, and then, if you weren't on the live last night, you might not have seen that we had this floor This repair. hallway is now a beautiful hallway. Can't wait for it to be sanded and finished. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, and we think now floor is gonna be Saturday. You know, things just kind of get bumped a little bit and that's okay. But this door, it's a little bit wider. And um, so I love this wide door into this in here. And anyway, and so then, ta-da. Oh, yeah. We have another door. Another door, a painted closet. Yes. Everything is beautiful. Yes. So they've painted that inside there. Miss Annie was really concerned about that closet. You've been asked four, five, six times, did you make a decision on the refrigerator? Yes. So I'm gonna do side by side. Okay. I'm gonna do side by side. Beautiful. So many of your comments about the refrigerator, half of you like side by side and half of you like that drawer pull out. So I just decided on the side by side. It's what I'm used to, it's what I like. So anyway, it's hard, but. All right, so here's the door into our bedroom. And, and there's that molding. Yeah. No, trim. Sorry. And then Look we also that. put a door here. Into the living room. Into that living room. And I really love it. Oh, it's. it's I love all nice. these doors. I love all the trim. <laughs> I can't wait for, for Jeremy to. Get up there and I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. Don't make everybody dizzy. And then do the 
the floors, which yeah, I believe he's coming back tomorrow. Is that right? To finish up? Jeremy? Yes. So, yes. So, baseboards go in tomorrow, and they're going to be like the eight inch. So, they're going to come up probably about here. They'll be high. And the reason why we decided to do that was because, um, you know, these old houses had those big baseboards. So, we mm -hmm. wanted to go back to the kind of what would have been here years ago. So, all right, and then here, this is, these are going to be the barn doors. And he's so, got the trim up there for the, the, um, for the track. Track. Yeah. So if you put that up here for the track, and it's on this side too. So, and then he built these casings around, and the doors will go this way. So. And... Oh, and crown molding for sure baseboards and then crown molding should, he was not really sure if he could get it all done tomorrow um, just because of the style of crown molding that we're going to do. It's not hard, but he just has to go around twice in the big main rooms. Um, but then also in here, he'll be putting up crown molding also. So, because... Daryl Wool, can you go up real slow up here so I can see you, that? Oh, so you can see that gap there. Yeah. So, so he'll be he'll be covering that gap. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you love the doors? I, I love the doors. Yes, the doors are wonderful. Yeah. Um, and the showers come along? Yeah, they did the float. They, they floated the, the base of it today and, and mm -hmm. uh, can't wait for the finished product. Yeah. And it's... Don't. Oh, I, don't. I was going to get in there. Okay. Anyway, it's bigger than what we think we thought it would be. Mm -hmm. so. Don't. She's not to step on that because it's still moist. Wet. So, wet. Yeah. I don't know. Is there anything in the front room? They I, he hasn't really done anything there yet, has he? Just that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. But here's all his awesome tools. Yeah. He is set up. He came. He came ready to work. Yeah. Prepared. So, but I do love this store because I think it'll it provides a little privacy. Like I think that might be my room. Uh, you know, to hang out when you're yeah. out here watching your sports. Oh, yeah. I don't know when I would be doing that. <laughs> so there have been some more comments wondering how I was feeling, and I am absolutely well. I appreciate those comments. Last night I was a little tired, a little hot, and got a real dizzy and tends to work on me sometimes. So had a good night's rest, good day. Oh, I haven't told you guys. What haven't you told him? I'm changing jobs. <laughs> yeah. Daryl has a new job. All right, let's sit, sit right here. We're going to sit right okay. here. Let's sit right here against this wall. Um, let me put back on my clip. Love the doors and trim. I love the doors so much. Such amazing workers. Yes. So let's see, Gail says, I love the doors. I'm so impressed at how fast you are coming along. Your home will be so beautiful. All right, do you wanna tell them about your job? Oh, I have a really good friend. Uh, he and I have been friends since 98, 99. Worked together many, many years. The company that we were working together in uh, sold out in 13. So he went on uh, with his uh, career. He went down to the University of Alabama. He didn't go right away there, but he ended up at the University of Alabama. And um, anyway, he contacted me about a month ago, I guess, and said, there's a position available in our group. You need to apply. So I applied and I got the job. So I'll be working at the University of Alabama. And I'll remain 
a loyal Florida State fan. So, uh, those, well, so those of you who are Alabama fans, you can say Roll Tide. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> going to say Roll Tide around me, which, you know, that's fun. That's fun. So. Oh, my gosh. So I was teasing Daryl saying it would be funny because he is such a Florida State fan. It would be really funny if part of his job is that he has to wear a shirt that says University of Alabama on it. That would be really funny. Yeah. So, Stephanie, if you're still on here, you will have to tell Lucian because Lucian is such a big Alabama fan. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves... Oh, he grew up in South Alabama. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, so, Daryl, so Friday is your last day. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. And then he has a week off, you guys, so he can kind of maybe work. rest, work. Um, but... Um, there's a roll tide roll. Go, Terry. <laughs> so then, um, so we'll have a week off and then he starts that job on July 1st. July 1st. So, absolutely. And Janet said, doing computer still? Um, yeah, yes. I'll be in the networking group. I'll be a network engineer. Uh, so I'll be more on the Cisco switches and router side than on the PC laptop side, which I've been doing at Blue Cross Blue Shield. So. Yeah, so, and more than anything, I think you're just going to love working with Powell and that I team. Am. I am. It's just, it's going to be a really nice um, environment. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It will be uh, a little bit of a, a hike. Um, when we lived just down the road, I, I worked in downtown Birmingham. And when I clocked going to Tuscaloosa um, last week, week before, um, it was about 10 miles more yeah. than going from here to downtown. So I did that for 14 years. I think I'll be all right going to Tuscaloosa. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, so anyway, that's super fun. We have a lot, a lot of, lot of change a lot happening. Of <laughs> um, I packed a lot of the house today and, um, so we've got, uh, we've got help coming tomorrow yeah. to help us get things out of our attics. We're going to do that first. And then we're going to start loading the pod. A lot of you guys have told us, and I'm so glad, and I don't know if I've told you this, Daryl, that everybody's been talking about that <clears throat> these pods get really hot. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to be mindful of what we're putting in the pod. And it kind of makes sense because it's like a metal box. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. So and when we park it here, we can park it in the shade. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We would have some shade. So anyway, um, let's see. Beth is saying hi from Kentucky. Karen says, go Gators. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. I love it. Um, and so many congratulations on the, your job. Congratulations for Florida State. Florida Did State, they win, win they, today? They won tonight. It was a really good game. So. We have to play Tennessee back to back. Okay, now they will play Tennessee tomorrow. I love you, Daryl, but, but what does it say? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to get to you, Diane. I love you, Daryl, but I gotta be for the Vols yeah. since I grew up in Tennessee. There you go. That's we get understandable. it. Understandable. We get it. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. Um, others are asking again about the refrigerator. I did choose a side by side. Um, Daryl, our balls and your Seminoles play tomorrow, correct? That is correct. Glad you're feeling better tonight so I can say go balls. <laughs> and if we win, meaning here, we'll play again the next day because Tennessee has to lose too and they haven't lost any yet. Okay. But is it Tennessee and I think Kentucky haven't, hasn't lost? I, I don't know. Tennessee and somebody hasn't lost. Maybe Texas A&M. Yeah. I know that Florida State is the last ACC team that's still alive. So if we lose to Tennessee tomorrow, we're gone, and the rest of the four teams are all uh, SEC. <coughs> so. Okay. Okay. So we're holding out. We're going to believe. We're going to believe in those believe in Seminoles. Those Seminoles. So somebody said, "Don't the pods go to a climate-controlled storage?" Yes, you can choose that, or you can just have it go from driveway to driveway. So. We are that it's going to pick up on Saturday and just bring it right here to our house. And then you have to rent it, or in our situation, we had to rent it for a month. So, um, anyway, it's going to be out here for a month. I guess we could, I think we can call them and tell them if we empty it, but anyway, ahead of time or for shorter 
if we empty it, and <laughs> what am I trying to say? <coughs> well, I can pick it up early. I can pick it up early, y'all. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yes. So, um, go Gators, chomp, chomp. Um, that's so funny. Wildcats lost yesterday. Oh, did they? Okay. It may be Texas A&M that's undefeated. There's only two, Tennessee and somebody. So... Yeah, I love that we have some sports people on here. I know, I know not everybody is, and, and that's okay. Um, but I love that some of you really enjoy sports. That's fun. When do you plan to move into the new house? Okay, so we don't close until Tuesday. Is that a week from today? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, all of the things are going to be out of our house on Saturday. Um so we might spend the night here Saturday night and we have that upstairs little apartment area. So that's what we're going to do is we'll be up there for a little bit. bit. Um, did you check with the city to see how long they allow them in the yard? I did not. Y'all, I did not do that. <laughs> See, this is why we love you guys because you tell us <laughs> stuff to do. <coughs> I did not even do that. I just, I just was assuming it was okay. Maybe not. Anyway. Um, congratulations on the job change. Even though our son lives in Salt Lake City, his heart is still with Roll Tide. Oh. I love that. Um, all right, everybody. Tonight's game got rained out, Peggy says. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. It was, the wind was blowing really bad right there at the end of our game. You could tell that that game after us was going to be, uh, rained out. So it'll be... It'll be the first game tomorrow morning, and then I think we play after. Lisa says, I'm still crying over my Razorbacks. Yeah, sorry, Lisa. <laughs> Somebody says, go Yellow Jackets, Georgia Tech. Randall um, Wreck from Georgia Tech and a heck of an engineer. Oh, somebody said we might need a permit for the pod? Y'all, I guess I really need to look into this for the city. Okay. Do you have AC in the house now? Yes, we do. We have, um, but we haven't been turning it on just simply because most of the time these doors have been wide open. Wide open. And so we haven't been running the air, but it will be on for sure. And the upstairs has air conditioning, so we're going to be in good shape. Um, will air conditioning be working when you move in? Yes, it will be. Um, you look a lot better tonight, Daryl. People are saying, well, I know, y'all. He did look pitiful last night. I know some of you guys were like, take him home. <laughs> I know. We are praying for rain here in North Carolina, Patsy said. Um, Stacy said, I missed it. Daryl, where is your new job? It's at the University of Alabama. So I have to go down to the campus uh, every day. So, and it's going to be about a 50-mile drive. Yeah. Somewhere in that range. Sheila says, when are they starting on the kitchen? Okay, you guys. I think I have a video that will be going up tomorrow. I just met with Cottage Supply yesterday and finalized everything. They went over every single cabinet. We talked about all the functionality of it all. And anyway, it's a really sh sweet video tomorrow that kind of shows you what I picked out. I think you're gonna love it. Um, so, yesterday everything got ordered. So the kitchen will not be done for probably a month or six weeks. So we're just gonna be. Uh, we'll have the refrigerator in here. Mm -hmm. We'll have an oven in here, and we'll have some folding tables and folding chairs. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about getting <laughs> a utility sink. You know, one that you would put in your laundry room. Just let me show you where. We're gonna put it right over there. <laughs> So, but yeah, this is what we're looking at right now, but it's going to be beautiful and Dan will be taking out the cabinets probably sometime this week. So yeah. yeah, that was a good question. So what is this June? Actually, they also did say that they would speed up. They were going to try to kind of speed it, speed up the process. Nola says, I was about to call 911 on Daryl last night. <laughs> I know you guys. He was he was not feeling good. It, you know the problem is is when I get hot and tired and I I start looking up and moving my head around. 
Yeah. It, my brain can't compensate for what it lost and it, and it hurts and I get dizzy and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, somebody said, I've been worrying about you moving everything upstairs. Those stairs are no joke. <laughs> they aren't. So really we're not moving hardly anything upstairs. We're just going to take, I think we're just going to take our mattress top because it's a big king bed and no, we're not going to wrestle with that. We really think we're only going to be up there maybe, maybe two weeks at the most. We're not a hundred percent sure. Um, but anyway, we're just going to take, we're going to pretend like it's a hotel room, you know, like where you just pack a few things and it has a bathroom up there and yeah, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> I just Googled oh, okay. pod storage call tomorrow, but I believe the main issue is with HOA HLAs. properties. Ah, ah. Okay, and living in the city, we don't have a, we don't have, we don't have HOA, but we do have city people that might want to talk to us about it. <laughs> did you make a decision on your bed placement? No, I did not. I was going to measure that headboard. I know. I mean, I, yeah, I need to do that tomorrow. Help me remember that. I got home and looked at our bed, and it has a tall, wide... Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. We need to figure out the length of it. Yes. Um, nope. One did, way. It's a one-way Yeah, 50, 50 miles. miles one way. So. And it's, I, I used but to it's kind it of for a, almost 14 years, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll be able to listen to Florida State pods on the, uh, you know... Uh, podcast? Little, podcast on the way there and then catch up on the way back. I, you know, I'll have, I'll be up to date. Listen, and that. he'll be listening to all the um, Leonard Skinner stuff. He will be a, probably a very rested, happy man. <laughs> Teresa says, can't wait to see the extra window that's hidden in the kitchen by the yeah. cabinets. I know you guys, I know I cannot wait for all of that too. It's gonna be so great. Um, somebody said an inflatable bed would be great upstairs, right? You know, I don't think that we have quality inflatable beds. Like, I don't know that we've ever slept on a very quality inflatable bed yeah. because Daryl always ends up really low and I'm really high. And anyway, and then I usually get off that bed. But um, if your water downstairs is still off, will you have water working upstairs? Yes, we have water upstairs. And um, yeah, we have water upstairs. We have a shower. We have yeah, a toilet. Full bath. Everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll have all the water that we need. So these are great questions, you guys. We live 30 minutes from Tuscaloosa, Carolyn said. Um, how did he get that dizziness to go away? What did you do to get it to go away? Well, the only way I get it to go away is just rest my head. Um, believe it or not, driving doesn't bother me. So I drove from here home, didn't bother me a bit. If I'm sitting and holding on to something, uh, and air conditioning is blowing on me, I'm good. Uh, it, it goes away, but when I get into the house, I just, I took a shower and I laid down. Yeah. And, and that's, then I went to sleep and, and it was gone. Yeah. So Nancy Hodges is on here. She was our neighbor at one time and our, and then they moved away, and then she works at Blue Cross Blue Shield, and she oh. said she was going to miss you. Well, thank you Not so much. Not seeing Nancy. you. And then Sheila said, look up pics of beds in front of windows. I think it looks good when you walk into a bedroom and you're facing the bed straight on. You know what? I haven't even thought to look that up on Pinterest, like what that looks like, a bed mm. in front of a window. That's a great idea. Y'all, you guys are just full of good stuff. Do you have to go out of the main house to go upstairs? Yeah, you yes, do. Yes, we do. You have to just walk through that door right there. Um, but you're not really going outside. I'll show you guys really quick. So you just go out this door right here. And then, so you're on a porch and then you go into right here. And then you go up there. So it's kind of outside, but not really outside, you know? All right, we'll both, uh, you both look more rested today. Love watching your progress on the house. We are more rested today for sure. Um, Y'all are holding up so well. 
we've had a lot of really good help. We've worked hard. I know you guys have seen us working hard. Mama Sue, sweet Mama Sue sent me a message today and she was like, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about Daryl. She was worried about you, Dean. No, mm, she's sweet. And um, I know, I feel like last night we did, we looked, you really looked really beat last night for yeah. sure. Yeah. But anyway, we just got one, we just, you know, I think Sunday, you know, it's going to be a big week because we're going to be doing all the moving. Uh, but... Holly, it, it's not rain. It was a ceiling fan on the porch that you heard. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, trim finishes up tomorrow and maybe Thursday. Friday, I think, paint comes back. Saturday floor. So, anyway, it's it's coming together. It's been... We, we bought this house five weeks ago, you guys. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's only been five weeks, which might be why we look so tired. Maybe if this was stretched <laughs> out six months. It would be better. But I kind of like the fact that We're it, getting it done. it's been fast yeah. in a way. Yeah. Um, it has rocked our world for sure. So, but it's, it's really okay. And y'all have been so helpful, you guys. Whew, that bathroom is quiet as a mouse in there because you guys told us to double insulate. <laughs> so maybe they should get your floors started and done in your master first so you could put your bed in there earlier. That's a great idea. We should ask them to start in the master. That's not mm. a bad idea. Yeah. Put your mattress on the floor, rest, rest. Do you have a lot of cleaning to do upstairs before you move? Actually, no, I went up there today and I brought some things from the house and I swept really well up there and I've cleaned that little bathroom. I think it's going to be perfect. Um, it's going to, it's, it's very small and it won't take long to clean that at all. Um, someone asked, why do we want to move? We just wanted to move back here to Columbiana. This is a sweet, sweet town. A lot of our good friends are here. And, um, so yeah, we just wanted to, we just wanted to do, we just wanted to move back and it all worked out. So um, Suzanne says, rest up before the move. You'll need it. The video is cutting in and out. Is it? Okay. All right. Dixie says, unbelievable progress in five weeks. I know. It's been, it's been kind of crazy, hasn't it? It has. It's been amazing. Like when you look back here, you guys, it's come a long way. I'm going to do, I'm going to work with our sweet Angela Deaver and we'll figure out like a collage I was looking back at pictures and how, like what it was and what it is now and all the processes. It's been kind of amazing. Um, love your cooking videos. I know, and I have to say, I've really enjoyed all of these videos too. Thank you. Um, I will be doing a lot of, um, a lot of my cooking videos are gonna be done at the office yeah. once we move in here. Remember, do you guys, I don't know how many of you guys were with us last year, but do you guys, you know, Daryl and I built the um, kitchen in the office that we love. I love yeah. that little sweet kitchen. So um, I'll be going there to make videos. Um, are you close to your office? I'm a little bit further away. I'm kind of right in between like Mama Sue and the office, um, about 20 minutes away. So, um what about the fireplace that was closed off by accident? That's a good question. Honestly, we just have to get with Paul and figure out what we need to do. He had a very busy day today. One of his customers, their whole AC unit on their on the roof of their uh, restaurant went out. So he had to take the old one off and get another unit back up on the So he was he was tied up with that that uh, that customer. Yeah. Cuz Paul does all the things, but he is uh, licensed in refrigeration and HVAC, so. Mm -hmm. All right, tell Dee his dump cookbook is on its way to me this week. All right, Yay! good deal. Yeah, you guys, so I think it was last week, all of the cookbooks, we reordered every single one of the cookbooks. So volume one, volume two, which has been out for a, a long time. So Celebrate with Miss Annie is back. 
and Daryl's Dump Cooking Cookbook. So we ordered all of the cookbooks. So anyway, if you don't have any of that, or if you know we have our I Can Do Hard Things and everything is figure outable and stronger every day, all of that is on our website at MissAnnie'sHomeAndKitchen.com. MissAnnie'sHomeAndKitchen.com. So anyway, we, we're renovating a house, but also we have that over there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so awesome to be hanging out with us. Um, Sharon says, hey, Sharon. Sharon said, I made Daryl's pineapple upside down dump cake, and it was awesome. Isn't that, that is delicious one. That was. Yeah. yeah. So Daryl made that one, and um, Shannon came in town with Titus and Zeke, and anyway, they loved it. They thought it was yummy. So... Jan said she just received the dump cookbook, and I love it. <clears throat> I'm so glad. You guys, we cook out of that all the time because it's just the easiest recipes ever in there. Um, Joan says, how much time does Daryl have off? He has a week. One week. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody said, what about the kitchen floor? Good question because, um, yeah, look at the floor. It's kind of a mess. So... The kitchen floor, the floor guy said he feels like he's going to go through a lot of pads um, sanding it, but he says he thinks it's going to look pretty good. And I talked to the cottage supply, and they told us what we needed to do to get the floors ready for when they come. So anyway, we've got a little bit of time on that because we have a month before that's all delivered. So... The peach dump cake is super yummy too. Yes, it is. Rebecca says, I love hanging out with y'all. I love both of your cookbooks. Well, thank you. That's Rebecca. awesome. Janet said, did you hire a moving company? We did not. Mm -hmm. We have um, our daughter. So Ashley's mm -hmm. coming tomorrow with Luke, Luke and Piper. Again, we're just going to get all the attic stuff out. We've got some people from church coming um, tomorrow and maybe Friday. So we are good, good. Um, can you put the bed on the wall where the fireplace is at and just lose that fireplace? You know what, Debbie? I thought about it. We talked about that, but it's really a pretty fireplace. So I don't know. And we actually went on Facebook, uh, marketplace looking at antique mantles. Oh my goodness. There's some pretty ones out there. And, um, uh, so anyway, yeah, I think we might have one or two that are in our minds there. Yeah. So Donna said she bought everything for the Greek salad today. You. Oh my goodness. That's such a good salad. <laughs> yeah. That is a super good salad. Okay. Let's see. Someone said, I wish that everything is figure outable in the blue. Again, t-shirt round neck. Um, so are you saying everything is figure outable is not in the blue? That's the way I understood what she was saying. Yeah. You know what? It's been a minute since I looked at the website, so I need to check that out. I'm not sure. I'm planning on coming. What did you say? To visit you when I come home from Louisville, Kentucky. <gasps> Aunt Neela! Right. I come hope you do. I love you, Aunt Neela. You guys, Aunt Neela is the best. Oh, I love you. Um, are you bringing Wes and Leslie? Wesley and Leslie? Those those are my cousins, okay? And they're married to one another. Wesley is my cousin, and he's married to Leslie. Isn't that awesome? And they both have ginger hair. Mm -hmm. They look like siblings. Um, You've been asked about 10 times about the refrigerator again. You okay, refrigerator side by side, you guys, side by side. <clears throat> All right. Well, listen, you guys have been hanging out with us for a while, and you're so sweet. Um, are y'all ready to go to bed yet? <laughs> yeah. Is D a teacher too? He is not a teacher. He is a... I will be a network engineer yeah. at the University of Alabama in about two weeks. Yeah, so he's had that position before. Yeah. And so he's just a computer network engineer guy. Um, what did Debbie say? Debbie said it's a thought. So Daryl has a cookbook too. Daryl has... So we just call the dump cooking cookbook Daryl's cookbook. It just It's easy things. That's why it's Daryl's. You know, it's yeah. like you just dump it in there and, and go and it's good. So. And we call him the Dump King because the very first video Somebody on here called me that, didn't they? Yeah. 
Yes, one of you followers kind of named him the Dump King. Um, anyway, his very first video he ever made was a dump cake. And so he's ventured out a little bit, you know. I'm making with, salads. With his salads and stuff. Anyway. Um, Beth is grandpuppy sitting. That's so sweet. Kay says she finally got us live. Betty is from Michigan. Hey. All right, you guys. So we have spent a lot of time with you. We love you so much. And we appreciate you. We are just... Um, just regular people just like you guys and yeah. we find it amazing that you want to spend time with us we love spending time with you absolutely we really do so anyway cannot wait to show you what it's going to look like tomorrow with the trim um and i hope again that you guys go to jeremy's go go check out where there's a post that i did where I say, meet Jeremy, and if you click on his little Facebook page, you're gonna love the things that you see. So go follow him. He's so great, and I cannot wait to see what he does tomorrow. So anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful night. You guys are just the best, and we need to remind you to be- Stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye.